वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल डी रिपेयर्स इस वीडियो को हिंदी में देखने के लिए डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में दिए गए लिंक पर क्लिक करें टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिपेयर ब्लूटूथ स्पीकर ऑफ प्रोटॉनिक्स कंपनी यू कैन सी वी हैव टू ब्लूटूथ स्पीकर्स बोथ द ब्लूटूथ स्पीकर आर नॉट टर्निंग ऑन द ब्लूटूथ स्पीकर गेट्स पावर फ्रॉम द रिचार्जेबल बैटरी फिटेड इन साइड इट मोस्ट ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस विच वर्क ऑन द बैटरी इट सर्किट रेयरली गेट्स डैमेज बिकॉज देर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ हाई वोल्टेज और हाई करेंट कमिंग फ्रॉम द बैटरी इन सच डिवाइस आइडर द बैटरी गेट्स डैमेज और द सर्किट विच चार्जेज द बैटरी सो लेट्स ओपन दीज टू ब्लूटूथ स्पीकर एंड सी वेदर द प्रॉब्लम इज इन द बैटरी और द चार्जिंग सर्किट This is the power volume up play and volume down button. Under this rubber cover is the indicator, USB port, aux and charging port. This is the base of the Bluetooth speaker. There is no screw in the base. It is just on the lock. First of all, its base has to be removed. Remove the rubber cover and remove the base like this with the help of a spatula or a screwdriver. then these four screws have to be opened this square piece of iron is attached here for the stability of the base let us open the screw now This is the battery. You can see that the battery is bulged. Now let us open the second Bluetooth speaker as well. This battery is also bulged. The battery is 3.7 volt, 1800 mAh. Let us check the battery with a multimeter. Check the battery by setting the multimeter on 20 volt DC. The battery is showing 3.75 volt, but since it is bulged, it will not give backup. The second battery is not showing any volt. It means the battery is completely dead. If you want to remove the circuit board of a bluetooth speaker let's see how to do it first open all the four screws under the rubber cover now remove all the connectors on the board this is the connector of the switch board The other three connectors are of the speakers and buffer. First remove the circuit board in which the switch is installed. Now remove the main board. This is the main circuit board. This is RL6988 Bluetooth audio IC along with Bluetooth receiver it also tests the status of battery apart from audio voice call this IC also supports USB microphone SD card aux this is Bluetooth antenna this is FM receiver IC this is FM antenna both these ICs are 5 watt audio power amplifier this is lithium ion battery charging IC this is switch board All these four are micro push button switches. Here the connector wires are soldered. We will see later what problem occurs due to moisture or desoldering here. 
Now let's put both the circuit boards in the cabinet and attach the connectors. Let's now replace the 3.7 volt 1800mAh lithium polymer battery. It is difficult to find such battery in the market. So we can make the battery pack using BL5C battery used in Nokia keypad mobiles. Apart from this, we can also make it with the help of LEB030 battery. Since one battery is of 100mAh only, so two batteries have to be connected in parallel. The cost of one battery is about 200 rupees. That is, a battery pack can be made in 400 rupees. This battery pack will give more backup than the old one and its life will also be more. You can see that it is easily fit in the battery compartment. You can see that this is positive and negative. The middle pin has to be left. Now let's remove the connector from the old battery pack. Before installing the new battery pack, let's check the charging circuit. Put the connector in the board and connect the mobile charger. Check the DC voltage on the connector wires with a multimeter. If 4.2 volts are coming, then the charging circuit is fine. If no or less than 4 volts are coming, then the charging circuit is faulty. Here you can see it is coming close to 4.2 volt, which means the charging circuit is fine. Let us now make the battery pack. The voltage of both the new batteries is showing around 3.7376 volts. Stick both the batteries with tape so that they do not move. Connect the positive and negative terminals of both the batteries together. And then connect the red wire of the connector to the positive and the black wire to the negative. Now stick tape over the soldering and fit the battery pack in the battery compartment. Now let us connect the battery in the Bluetooth speaker. You can hear that it is working. Let us tighten the battery pack in the Bluetooth speaker. Fit the base of the Bluetooth speaker, keeping its lock in mind. Now make the battery pack of the second Bluetooth speaker in the same way. This time we will make the battery pack with BL5C battery.
there is another problem in this bluetooth speaker that even after turning off the power you can see that the indicator is showing a dim blue light and the power button is also not working this type of problem occurs due to a fault in the switchboard you can see that the indicator turned off as soon as the connector of the switchboard was removed first of all keep the multimeter in continuity mode or diode mode and check all the micro switches by pressing them you can see that all the micro switches are fine sometimes such a problem also occurs due to dry solder or moisture on the board where the connector wires is soldered so let's solder it again Now let's check by putting the switchboard back. Power on. Bluetooth mode. Power off. You can see that after turning off the power, the indicator is turning off and the switch is also working. Now put the switchboard back in the cabinet and tighten the cabinet. Power on. Bluetooth mode. Power off. Now you can see this Bluetooth speaker is also working.